This is the Stinger missile. In this content, we will try to explain the parts of the missile with the technology behind it and the awesomeness of the proportional navigation formula based on how the guidance seeker utilizes to track and destroy its target. All of that in just under 5 minutes in 4K quality animation. So, let's get straight to the target. The FIM-92 Stinger is an infrared homing surface-to-air missile that may be carried by a single person. It may be configured to fire from a wide range of ground vehicles, as well as helicopters air-to-air -air Stinger. It was developed in the United States and has been utilized by the militaries of the U.S. Army and 29 other nations since the 1980s. It is primarily built by Raytheon Missile Systems, with 70,000 missiles produced under license by Airbus Defense in Germany and Roxen in Turkey. The launcher is 5 feet long, or 1.52 meters, with a diameter of 2.8 inches or 70 mm and fins of 3.9 inches or 100 mm. The missile alone weighs 22 pounds or 10.1 kg, whereas the missile with its launch tube and incorporated sight, grip stock, and identification friend or faux IFF antenna weighs around 34 pounds or 15.2 kilograms. Now, let us see how it works. The guidance, tail, propulsion, and warhead systems are all part of the Stinger missile. The missile's tail contains four foldable fins that provide roll and stability while in flight. The seeker assembly, a guidance assembly, a control assembly, a missile battery, and four wings that offer in-flight agility make up the guidance section. One pound or 0.45 kilograms of explosives enclosed in pyrophoric titanium makes up the warhead. A launch motor and a dual thrust flight motor are included in the propulsion segment. A battery coolant unit is put into the grip stock to fire the missile. This device consists of a thermal battery that provides power for target acquisition and a supply of high-pressure gaseous argon that is injected into the seeker to cryogenically cool it to operating temperature. A single BCU provides power and coolant for roughly 45 seconds, after which another must be inserted if the missile has not been fired. The BCU is vulnerable to abuse and has a short shelf life due to argon leaking. The IFF system is powered by a rechargeable battery that is included with the IFF interrogator box and plugs into the pistol grip space. The soldier fires the weapon by aiming the missile at the target. The seeker produces a distinct noise when it latches on. As soon as the soldier pulls the trigger, two things occur. The missile is launched from the launch tube by a small launch rocket, far away from the soldier who is shooting it. The launch engine is detonated and the primary solid rocket engine fires up. The missile then automatically flies to the target and bursts. The Stinger missile has a range of around 5 miles and can attack targets flying as high as 11,500 feet or 3,500 meters with a maximum of 8 kilometers. Passive IR or UV sensors are used by Stinger missiles to track their targets. The missiles seek for infrared light and heat emitted by the target plane's engines and follow that light to track it down. The missiles also recognize the target's UV shadow and utilize that information to distinguish it from other heat-producing objects. While the missile is in flight, the image of the plane it is attempting to hit on the image sensor may become off-center. When it does, the missile knows it has gone off course and the guidance system must figure out how to get it back on track. Proportional navigation comes into play here. This is how proportional navigation works in a more basic manner. It is based on the idea that two vehicles are on the verge of colliding if their direct line of sight does not change direction as the range narrows. The missile velocity vector must rotate at a rate proportionate to the rotation rate of line of sight rate and in the same direction. This missile was used in Ukraine where it hit a helicopter from a reasonable distance, making it one of the deadliest weapon in the Ukraine-Russia war. Do subscribe as we bring you the Javelin missile system and how it works. See you in our next video.